Hello, welcome to chapter 17, part 2, Bootstrap Forms and the Inline Form in it. Brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the Bootstrap Form layout. Okay. And in the last session, we learned like how to build a vertical form layout or the default form layout. Okay. The vertical form layout in the sense, the labels and the controls are stacked on top of each other. Now we are going to learn the second layout that is inline form layout. What do you mean by inline form layout? And here is the description for that, which tells you like the labels as well as the controls are in line and left aligned. So to understand this very clearly, let us jump to Visual Studio and let us start coding there such that we'll understand inline form layout completely. And before starting with the inline form, we are to keep the standard rules. We are to follow the standard rules for all the three form layouts. Okay. The first and foremost is we have to add a role is equal to form in the starting tag of the form tag. And we have to wrap the labels as well as the controls uh, inside a due. And to that due, we have to add a class called form group. And the third one is, uh, we have to add a class called form control to the textual input text area and select elements. Okay. Now uh, it's time to learn the inline form layout. Let me jump to Visual Studio and here is a basic code which gives you a simple form elements. Okay. Yeah, and in this due we have label and input type. This is a label of username and the type is text and the label is password and the type is input type is password and we have a button called login now when i push this page we push this page to the browser let me see it renders like this and it is not styled so what i'll do is first let me create a default form in the sense vertical form later i'll show you how to create an inline form it's very easy the thing is we have to follow the standard rules in the sense the first rule is we have to add role is equal to form to the form tag let me go and do it to this form tag I have to add okay another important point I forgot to say is this form tag needs the script files so I have added here the script jQuery and as well as bootstrap min.js and also the bootstrap min.cs okay now let me come here and to this form tag let me add role is equal to form okay and my first step is done and the second step is we have to wrap the labels and form controls in the due to that due we have to add a class called form group so let me go and do that this is the label and this is my form control that is input type is equal to text. We have to wrap these two inside the due and to this due we have to add a class called form group and let me copy and paste the second due which is having a label called password and the input type is password. Okay and to this button let me add some style such that it looks good as we learned in the earlier sessions like bootstrap button classes include button and also the button default class. Now let me go back and let me refresh this page. Let me see how it renders. Okay. It's not uh, applying very clearly. Why? Because we have to, okay. I forgot to add the last point. Okay. The last point did, last point is we have to add a class called form control to all the textual input text area and select elements. But as of now in my code, we are using only the input type element. So to this input type element, we have to add a class called form control. So let me come back here and here let me add to this input type element, let me add a class called form control. And to this also, we have to add a class called form control. Now when I go back and refresh the page, now your form will be more stylish. In the sense it's this input type element okay it's acquiring the complete width and this also and the button is also looking stylish and this is what we saw in the earlier session like how to build a default form or a vertical form now how, how do I make this form in line it's very simple what we have to do is we have to come back here and to this due this form tag we have to add a class called form in line okay we have to add a class called form inline. Now when I go back and refresh the page, this is what we'll get it. Okay. In the sense, let me go back to the definition and recall inline form in the sense, the labels as well as the controls are in the same line, in the sense inline and left aligned. Yes, it is left aligned completely. And the label as well as the form controls, password as well as this control, they are in the same line, in the sense inline. This is how you'll build an inline form layout. I hope you understood and I have some of the things left to say about inline form coming to the next slide here for an inline form viewport should be at least 768 pixel yeah obviously and since this is a large screen the viewport is more than in the sense the screen size is more than 768 pixel but uh, what I'll do is I'll come back here and 
what I what is the bootstrap did class I've added here? I've added like call large twelve. But when I do call large three, okay, call large three, and and you observe here. Now I've added a class called form inline. But when I come back and refresh, okay, this will not become the inline form. Why? Because we are strictly restricting this viewport. Uh, lesser than 768 pixel because of this call large 3 so inline form is not working so the first and foremost point you have to remember when you're working with inline forms is for an inline form the viewport the screen size should be at least or greater than 768 pixel if it is less than 768 pixel the inline form class does not work so let me go back and let me change this class to class 12 okay call large 12 and let me go back and refresh and it renders back like earlier however it was looking okay this is what the inline form is and that's what we learned and I forgot to add one more point like this is on the large screen so it's just coming in, in in the inline but as soon as I move this to the tab it is working in the inline manner itself but when it reduces the small size it is come when it comes to small sc uh, small screen like mobile screen what happens is it uh, reverts back to the default form layout okay this is what i was about to say like on the large screen it is inline form and the medium screen also and small screen also uh, but when it come to extra small okay what happens is it reverts back to the uh, default form layout or the vertical form layout and that's what the last point that i wanted to add and i completed that and what we learned in this session is we learned like how to build a inline form layout and that's for the day and we also saw a beautiful demo and finally uh, thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel lang pro training and you can also visit our facebook pages visiting these urls and we are also on twitter you can follow us for further references you can visit these websites and we are on linkedin too okay and last but not the least again please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day